How's it, Sean, from the Games Yard? Riser Prussia Gold. Can't wait. All right, before I get going with the next uh, video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that red big, that big red button over there. It'll help me out a lot. I'm growing my channel. And it's free. It's free to subscribe. So I'm, I'm growing my channel. I'm playing all these awesome games like Rise of Prussia Gold. And I love this game. And I love all of them. So please subscribe. All right, cool. Let's get started. Now, there's some things I want to tell you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, let me just load him up here. Okay, now, you know there's so little information on the internet. And the manual, I went back on the manual now now. I mean, just week sometime I was going through the manual trying to find out how this recruitment thing actually works. You know, like because you can't make you can't make individual brigades. You know, like an individual brigade like this. You make this, this you recruit and then it goes into this pool, yeah. So how do you ever build up your armies and stuff? And I found out. I actually I actually went and watched a video by a guy. Uh, but he he also wasn't sure, but it, it clicked to me. It clicked. Because the manual says, clearly in the manual, that you are able to create regiments. And it tells you, once the regiment's finished, you should just leave it to fill up, and then you can move it. Now, I'm thinking, yeah, we are here creating all these regiments, and they're going directly into the pool here. So, where, you know, and I, like, when can I move them? Here's the thing. Depot. Depot, Depot Grenadiers, Depot. These are regiments that you create that fill up the pool. They're not, they're not proper regiments. Now you see when we play, when I play the other campaigns or the longer campaigns, we'll get regiments in here. Uh, yeah, I see Depot Battalion, Depot Battalion. You see uh, Bavarian uh, Militia. All these, all these that are Depot Battalions, they don't come out as units. They come out here. They help you over here. Later on, when we, well, not in this campaign, but in the other longer campaigns and stuff, you get regular units. They're not called depot, depot, grenadier battalions or depot. Those ones, when you actually put them in the queue over here, uh, let me just have a look here. Sorry. When you put them in here to, okay, let's just say we take, when we put them into crate over there, they actually create real regiments. That you can add to your forces and move in. All right, I had to find this out. The manual kept telling me, but it's not explaining the recruitment side. It says nothing about depot. So this is a fantastic game, but it doesn't. It's so in depth. The only way I could have learned this was by playing. Yeah, you understand. And I watched that video, and the guy that that I saw was doing the video. He actually didn't know as well. He also said that when you make these regiments. They go in here and then they fill up your queue. And there's two ways to make them. The, this other way we've been making them where we do these military options and then and then we make the, the, the units go in here. But we do it in two ways. One way is this way and the other way is that. But it's not true. Yes, it is true, but it's only for depots. So when you see depots, they don't come out as units. They come out and they fill up the queue here. When we get units, I'm not sure this might be a unit. I think this might be a unit because it doesn't say depot or anything. I'm not sure. But when you see regular, you'll see it when we play the big campaigns. You'll see they'll come out as like just Grenadier Battalion. And also, you, because I actually had a look at, I actually, you know, I, just to confirm this, I went and had a look at the big campaigns. You know, the 172, just to see if there were units that I can actually create or all they're different. Yes. So it comes out like a Grenadier Battalion, no depot. And it's got filled out. It's got everything here. And when it's finished, I actually played it till it's finished. You can click on that unit and move it. You can put it into your forces. Like you, like I do with a supply train. Uh, yeah, like I've done with a supply train. This was killing me because I wasn't sure how we're going to create new units. All right, I think that's covered that. So the only way I would have known this is by playing. Because the manual says you can. But yeah, it doesn't tell you. The manual doesn't tell you that, the, that that's only... It's only for regular, if you get if you get a list, like if it's a depot, Grenadiers, that it's going to fill up in the queue. No, in the manual does it tell you that. So, the manual is quite in-depth, but it doesn't cover everything. There's some stuff that I would never have known unless I actually went and looked at that video. He didn't know either, and then I actually went and played a few games of the large campaign to actually figure it out. All right, so there's there's my bits and pieces, my bits of ranting and raving. So we know how that we know why that all works, 
how that works. All right, so we have a real problem here. Okay, let me just make sure I go through all of this. Okay, so they built a re uh, rebound. Are they doing this local population thing? Let's just go through all of this. The Prussians have arrived at Pishu. Okay, so. Okay, there is a Prussian force here. Now, I'm just trying to think. Okay, so that's the two. All right, so that's, okay. That's That was our Prussian force. It's actually a Bavarian force. Uh, uh, Army Corps Richter here has arrived at Okay, he's arrived there, he's arrived there, he's arrived there, okay, he's arrived there, also succeeding in treat uh, retreating for war before battle, uh, that was down there, okay, because we went and fought him there, uh, Austria succeeded, in, okay, while taking, we managed, we got the supply columns, uh, we gained control, of this fort this is ours right so we took this rebound that he created and he ran away there okay good i'm glad we did because that was affecting our supply heavy yeah oh hang on where's the supply that was affecting our supply over here but we got a problem here okay we'll just we'll talk about that now now all right let me just put it back on this so that's our objectives oh gosh hang on all right so um, also, objective hexes and strategic hexes count towards victory. All right, so I'm kind of figuring it's not just objective, not just objective hexes. You also got a strategic uh, cities also count towards your victory points and how you win. All right, so let we okay, we gain control. We arrived at Linz. Okay, that's our guy. We're going to come back to him and discuss him now now as well. We won a battle over here. This was this battle we fought. He. He didn't lose many men. We didn't lose many, but he left. He ran away. Okay. We still got to deal. This is the Austrians, if I'm not mistaken. This is their best general. So we've got to watch out for him. We took so many rifles, prisoners, and then we have arrived there, national morale point, because we, we've actually, we've, we, it's besieged. So we're still besieging that place. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so he, he was actually, he's been promoted. So we're going to, uh, let's just have a look here. We're going to promote him. Okay, so just so that it's done. I think that's the right way to do it. I'm not sure if he needs to be out of the stack to promote him. I'm not 100% sure. I think we can promote him. He's a three-star. Uh, Sinority and the French Corps is there. This is this huge, there's actually a couple of them. There's this huge French army over here. I'm not sure what to do with them. So I'm still not sure what to do with them. And there's another one in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's another huge force. They arrived here with two star generals, no armies. And look at look at their penalties. How's that for the French to send them to us? Unprepared. All right, cool. Now, all right, before we before we go on with the situation, let's go and look at our scores and objectives. All right, so we've captured all these. We control all these uh, objective towns. We still got these other ones to take control over. Uh, we're sitting with five. Total is 11 and we need 11. Okay. We have our current morale is 146 and the Austrian morale is 86. Sudden death is on. I'm not sure what that means. If we get over a certain morale, we win. Here we're learning as we're going. Accumulated points, 428 and he's uh, 590. Points we get from each from cities each turn is 17. We're just behind him. Prisoners of war, combat. Now we got six turns. <laughs> okay, six turns. And then we 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 control eight of the total um, uh, strategic cities. And we need ten. Need needed is ten. So it means maybe if we get another two, then we we kind of we kind of now this one. So we'll look at all that now. All right. So that's the situation. I don't know if we can win this. I don't know how far we are to victory. We've done well, but the problem is here. This guy over here, okay. He's now gone behind us, and it was a warrior bite. So what I've done, the only thing I can do is, I'm gonna. I wonder if I should just leave this. No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna work out what I'm gonna do with him. Okay, so uh, we need to leave this guy here, and there's another guy here as well. These two, we need to leave them here. Uh, we'll be see, I'm going to attack this place, get it out. So let's just do that now. I'm just going to, I'm going to, 
I don't think it says there, assaulting is not allowed unless non fortified city. So this is a fortified. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna try things in this game. That's why I'm learning this game because when we play the hundred when I play the hundred and seventy two scenario, then I'll at least know the game, how the game works. So these scenarios are learning scenarios. It says here that this fortress is besieged, but the structure is intact. Assaulting is not allowed unless an unless a non fortified city. So it means a, a standard city which we can assault. But we assaulted this here. And we hadn't breached it and, it and it went through unless that's one of the new rules from from uh, the, the Prussia gold that was changed because the Tulsa Siltip says we can't assault it but we're going to find out now if we can because this one this was a uh, this was a fourth size too and I, I also was sitting here with this brown cannon here and it hadn't and we assaulted it and it surrendered so we're going to do the same here with this one just to see how this thing turns out if we can take the city because it clearly says yeah we, we we it's not allowed but we're gonna assault it and see what happens now we'll know at the end of this turn this guy needs to be controlled he hasn't got such a big force but we've got two force three forces here covering him now i need to get i need to get this guy i don't care about this guy yeah I don't care about it. we'll come back but the immediate problem is get him there right and i need to get him there as well now i think i'm hoping that okay so when does he he arrives in 14 days and he arrives in 16 days so we want them synchronized so that they can go there and let me just see what what's his okay he's got one one and he's got two so i'm actually going to leave that there all right I don't think he's going to come down and scoop that because he's too busy assaulting over here. We need to get them there. This is going to be 16 turns. Hopefully he gets there sooner. Or 14. This is going to be 16 to get there. Hopefully he gets there sooner so that we can go in there and have a fight over here. We've got to get him out of here. Okay. We've got to get him out of here. I think he's good enough. I think he's got enough firepower. And this guy as well has got enough firepower because we've taken that. Now, do we, do we need, to, we need to leave somebody in there. Okay, so we're going to take out one of these horses. We're going to leave him in there just to, so that he stays under our control. So, I think we've got enough firepower. I hope we do. Okay, he's got two, he's got two, and then he's in charge. So, he's got two, he's got quite a, he's got quite a force. He's got cavalry, he's got pontoneers. I'm wondering if we can leave the Pontoneers now. I don't want to take a chance because I don't know this game well enough. So I'm going to move him and he's going to be 14 days. And this guy over here is going to be 16 days. I don't know why he's taking longer because he's carrying this big heavy slow thing. But anyway, that's it. So that's that's our move. That has to be done. There's no other way. They've got to meet there and they've got to take this guy out. I can't send these guys down there because this guy's quite a threat. He doesn't have the biggest army in the world, but he's a threat. And he's a pretty good general. He's a pretty good general. This guy... Well, I don't know if he's a pretty good general. I think he is. He's a pretty... No, he's a pretty good general. There was the... Where did we win here? Yeah, look, look. He's got a 5-2-2. Five, two, two. five and 2-2. Two, two, which is not bad. Okay. And then we... We won... Okay, no, not that one. There was another battle, I think... Okay, we didn't fight him. Okay, but uh, he's not too bad a general. This guy's nothing. I don't think we need to worry about him. But they need to stay and cover this guy. So he doesn't move around and whatever. So we need to take our Frederick and uh, who's this guy? Leopold need to hightail it up here. Join here and hit in there. That's our only option. I can't see anything else working for that. We let him get into the back. All right, so down here. Okay, we I intentionally is this because I wanted to all right, cool. I wanted to uh that's besieged. Now I wanna I wanna make him into a general. Okay, so this is a this is a size one fort. So I'm wondering if we should also do the same here yeah, and promote him at the same time. We'll know now. What's he he's put something in here. Austria has put a what's he put in here?
Okay, maybe I should do the same over here. Ah, Austria's helped me out there. This game is intricate. You can't just play the game. You know, you can't just, like, move the pieces. You've got to... Let's look. Yeah, we've got decisions. Yeah, watch this. Okay, that's... That's actually good. But what does it cost? What's the cost of it? Ooh. Okay. Okay, we removed Vincent's woman. Uh, what does it cost? Does it cost anything? C2X. Oh, okay, well, all right, I'm thinking of oh, that's a mine. Uh, will be removed from the pool. A decision requires one element specific type in the sender. Okay, uh, it doesn't tell me what it costs. Allows an extra, it provides you with a sapper element. This is This decision is spent. You'll only get more with special events. Decision it affects if it succeeds. We didn't look at all this. Well, it doesn't tell me what it costs. Now, a wall. I hastily build a wall. 10,000. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we've only got... No, we've got 10 engagement points. We're going to get to that. We've got 74. Uh, succeeded. Uh, we'll start the construction of four structures. The decision on average will be about 25. But how long? How long? Okay, so a rebound. Easily without expanding units in the countryside. Okay, so that's not gonna. What the hell did he build here? What was this? Let's go back here. What was this thing? Uh, Circumvitio. Oh, it's this thing. Increase the defense structure attachment provided you in around the structure. The decision costs three, costs these assets, five war supplies. I think we can do that. I think we're going to need to do that. All right, so over here, we're going to, this is this, this, this thing, the sick of each year. We're going to put it in there, can we? Why not? We've got the, why can't we do it? We can put it, yeah. Oh, will be an average argument. Uh, to, okay, 25%. So, uh, if you or the owns the region. Well, we don't own the region because, okay, so we can't. Let's just look here. Okay, the loyalty. When the loyalty gets over, this is also what I learned, control. When it gets 51% or so control, we can. We don't need to garrison a, a regular unit here. I'm not sure. I must read again. I think we don't need to garrison anything here. If it's 51% percent control or is it i think it's loyalty no no it's loyalty so when we get 51 percent loyalty in that region we don't need to garrison a unit in there all right so that's it now the military control is still austria uh, disputed and we've got four percent okay because he's in there all right that's why okay so yeah with loyalty you don't need to you don't need to if you get 51 percent loyal uh which makes sense. You don't need to garrison anything in there. All right, so he's been promoted and he's assaulting you. We want to see what happens there. I'm leaving him there and I want to see, because, I mean, there's no generals here. So I can't, he's not a core. He's not a core. There's no core here going on here. And that's the reason why we're sitting with this 10% penalty. I mean, I know he's, but a three-star general will, will help with us. But he's not a core. We can't. We can enable the brigade. We don't want the brigade for him. We want a corps. But I think you need to have a general in the area before you can enable a uh, course. So luckily, he's becoming a general. Now, these guys over here, don't ask me what it is. They all got two-star generals. Okay, there's this guy. He's also sitting with a 35% penalty because he's just a brigade commander. He's got a brigade and all these units in here. Now, they arranged this. So now we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the French. All of them are out of there. They've got no general. And there's no brigade. There's no core yet. You can enable a brigade, but you want to you wanna create a core. But there's no army in there to join it to. So you have to first create an army. Then you can create cores to join that army. So you can't just have arbitrary cores. So these guys, unfortunately, are all sitting with 35% penalties. 
There's nothing I can do about that. He's sitting with a 5% penalty. I wonder if we can alleviate one of these guys over here. Give him that. And he's going to be a 15 and he's dropped to a... Well, he hasn't dropped. He's so much in trouble here. Let's just try... Because we got this guy as well also. 35 and this guy 30 and this guy. So let's just see if we can put another O in there. And he's sitting at 25 as it alleviates. He's brought him down to 30. So I don't know which is better. I'm trying to spread this around here. Because they're all sitting. He's sitting down at 30 now and at 30 and a 15%, a 25%. So I'm not sure. It's a much of a muchness if you ask me. So I'm just trying to think. He's got no cavalry. This guy, where was his cap? Oh, I should have given him some cap. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Let's take these guys out of here. I think they were in there. It was in this guy. Okay, and let's give him some cavalry. Uh, well, I wanted to give him one of these. Because I got there. What are these? These are uh, cuirasses. We need them. And these are... Th these are also cuirasses. No, what are these? Sorry. These are cuirasses... Dragoons, Dragoons, Dragoons. Okay, so they got a curious at the front. So I'm wondering, what's this? This is a, a Dragoon, and that's a Hassa. Mm. He needs some cavalry as well, this guy. So he's got to stay with that cavalry, but he can, he can give up some of his cavalry, I'm sure. So if we took if we took that because he's already got that brings him down to twenty and it puts him at twenty five and this guy's still sitting at thirty five. If we can give him some more infantry, that means we're at thirty and he's at thirty. Okay, that's better. And we've given him a a section of cavalry like as well. Has this guy got any cavalry? Jeez, he's got like an army, man. This guy's he's filled up with cavalry, and he's at thirty five. So I'm not going to, and look what they're carrying. I mean, they, they're they all carrying this, this, I don't know if it's enough. They're all carrying this thing here. Uh, it's a train of, now in terms of our replacements, <coughs> um, okay, so that's taking care of that. So he's got some infantry, he's got line infantry, he's got a few blocks of that, he's got light infantry, militia, heavy carol field, he's got all of that, Bavarian's got the elite and line, two of that, he's got light, he's got militia, he's got cavalry, artillery, okay, he's covered, elite infantry, one, this is Saxony now, now we're going to look if there's anybody from Saxony that we haven't now, so he's covered there. Now, who else is wandering around here that we don't know about? I'm just trying to think now. Is there anybody? Now, where's Saxony? Because he's, he's offering. This is now Bavaria. We've covered that. <coughs> is this? No, that's all Bavaria. Is there anything from Saxony? No. We should be able to see Saxony. This is Saxony, I think. No, there's no troops here in Saxony. Okay, no, that's not it. So I think I think there's nothing for Saxony. Okay, yes, Saxony. Do you have anything? Ah, here we go. I wouldn't have seen that. Okay, so this I didn't know there was an oak out here. Now this is just a guy with nobody in control, nothing happening, and he's sitting here at Fredersburg. Now Dresden. Is this under our control? <gasps> it's Prussia. Okay, so we covered with that. I don't know what he can do. I don't know where he's going to, where we're going to send him. Uh, also, the old troops need to fight in your own areas too, because they lose. Now, in terms of, in terms of, look, we're going to assault this guy over here. This, take this one over. Then we're going to go down here and take that. Okay, because if you look, 
Okay, he's not gonna. He has. To, yeah, his route has to go through there. There's no crossing going on yet, so the, he's gonna stay there. Now, I'm just. We've got to get down to Prague, which is Austrian control. So, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring our biggest force. If it, if it's not, let's just look at our biggest force. Uh, that's power 558 and 759. This is our biggest force. It's got cannons, got artillery, it's got horse, it's got infantry. What's that? Infantry, infantry, horse, infantry. Okay. And he's got some things and he's got some. So I'm gonna, he's our biggest force. So I'm gonna, this is this guy here. So I'm gonna bring him down to help out here. That's for sure. He's going to help this guy out here from Bavaria. I'm just thinking now. I'm taking a chance. Now, I'm thinking how far... How far... I mean, they've got one wagon. The supply here is up to here. I mean, I think there's depots here. Ooh. Anything that's a town, you need to build a depot. If it's a city, it's fine. Well, it doesn't say anything. Will we be able to... No, no, I'm not so sure. Okay, there's plenty of supply here. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking, what are we going to do with the French? The rest of the French. I could march them up here. All right, well, let's not, let's not go all the way there. Let's, let's see if we can go there. Okay, he's going to, he's going to want to go down that side. I'm wondering... Okay, what if we brought these two French guys while he's besieging down there, down to here? That's going to be 17 days. At least they'll use the supply. And down to there. That's 22 days. Then I've got those French armies down there. They can, in the meantime, besiege that place. Why is it on fire? Okay, it's been pillaged. And then this guy down to help him here. Alright. Then this guy... He's going to stay there, but if we can move him up to there. How's that? Let's just see. Maybe our troops are all going to die. <laughs> uh, how many wagons does he have? He's got one wagon. Why don't we give him this guy's wagon? Because this is Bavaria. Let's keep him there and let's give him a wagon. What do you think? Because he's going to take this heavy, heavy trip up there. And then we can make another wagon for this over uh, yeah, here, this Bavarian guy. Can we make a wagon? We can. No, but we don't have the money for it. Alright, so we're not going to make the wagon then. Uh, we can make, oh sorry, no, the Bavarian, we can make a wagon. So, no, we can't. There's no wagons here. We've got it as all. Okay, so we can't make a wagon there. Saxony, he can make this stuff. Militia and all this, but we don't we don't need that now and We can these are the Saxon guys, but these are all depots. So they're gonna help with the supplies We don't need that filling out the army I'm thinking we don't need it. Excuse me. I'm just taking a chance here. He's gonna stay here Is there anybody else here? So it's him. He's going on that long country ride walk down to the bar. I think he's strong enough this guy is going to stay in this area. And these guys, once they take that, then they can build a depot there. It's got a size 4 depot. And what's the size of the city? I know I'm taking long on this turn, sorry. But this game cannot be... It looks like it takes a video a turn. <laughs> That's what I'm beginning to think now. This game, you can't just hit the, hit the next button. You've got to... This is a lot until I get to know how this thing so, so we can, if he doesn't destroy it, it's a size 10 city, so it actually doesn't need a depot. It's a big city. So we're going to need to, so we can take this, then we, we, we've got the depot and we'll get supply down here. Then we can take those two. So I brought the majority. In fact, I'm going to actually, you know what, he's, no, he's going to come down there and help. Or should he? Okay, hang on, let's just, 
the biggest guy I was going to, I should send down there. This guy, 759, this 558, I'll take the smallest guy. This guy's going to help him there. Okay, he's going to come down. This guy is going to go down there. That's if he doesn't get stuck by the siege. I mean, maybe he'll help us. And this guy, sorry, let me just go up. This guy over here is going to come down here as well. There we go. And then we all sort it. That's what I think we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, and then we all sort it. I hope. All right, cool. So now, I just want to just, just give me, let me take a screenshot here. Ooh, I know it's good. Yeah, it kicks up that scenario background. I just wanted to take a screenshot of this. Uh, let me take a big screenshot. Uh, okay, so just let me make a, a nice big screenshot. Sorry about that. Okay, there's another screenshot. Okay, cool. So that sorted that out. So this is our chance we're going to take. And my main concern is up here. There's the problem. I'm going to leave. Oh, let me look at my replacements. And I have... I have also decisions where I can build all the stuff for the French and the Prussian and the the only Prussian is heavy artillery, which I think I have. Uh, let me have a look here. So French heavy cavalry, French French artillery. So we can't build nothing for the for the Prussians. We've got Prussian heavy artillery. Do we need it? Prussian, Prussian, Prussian. Uh. Yeah, I think we do, because we pretty wasted down here. Yeah? So, yeah, there's not, there's no... So, let's just build this one. Let's just help out with that. Because this thing requires five engagement points. 50 money. Okay, before we do that, let me come back here. Yeah? Let me just make sure that I get some more. Because we, we are running short of, yeah, of infantry. And all that other stuff. So we're going to... And we're not building anything. Okay, we are. Okay, we are building a Grenadier over there. We're building anything there. And we're building a Grenadier and a... And a light call there. Uh, regular infantry. I think I'm going to... I wonder if I should build another one. Okay, let's just... Just to be safe. <sighs> yeah, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Okay. Okay, so now we are now we are building that and we're building that. This'll this is depot stuff. This goes in the air. This is not units. Okay, so we covered with that. Let's go back to our military options. We were gonna pick this. Fifty money. Uh our current as we don't have the fifty money. Okay, we've got forty seven tailors. We've got the the engagement points, ten engagement points, but we don't have the money. All right, so we're getting money. We'll build that when we get the money. We're getting money 43%. I think we're ready to start. If you ask me, I think we're ready. Yeah, yeah. I think I've done everything. And I'm testing out this. All right, let's hit the next turn. There's nothing else to go. Okay, let's go. Mm. Let's see what happens. Hey, this game is involved, eh? It requires a lot of foresight. It's like a... But I'd say... Okay, so... Yeah, so he actually assaulted that. He's assaulting it. And there wasn't a breach there. So I think the... We can take him. Look at his... Okay, so we won that. We lost... And he lost a hell of a lot of men. I mean, let's have a look here. All right, so we we won that. Let's just see if we promoted him. I don't know. Okay, let's just end that. Hey, we've got somebody else going down here. Yeah? This guy's moving up. Ugh. Okay, he's moved back in there. Bugger him. And this guy's coming up. This is a worry. Who's this guy? This game is involved, eh? It's involved. It's more involved than I thought it was. Okay, so he's still got to get there. Now, is that still mine? He's moved. Where did he run to? 
Oh, he's left the siege works. I'm putting that in there. Okay, so he's got that. I'm going to wait for our general to arrive. Uh, we still in control of this, sorry. And we have a guy in there. Now, this guy, this guy didn't take it. He didn't, but there's now a breach. And it's partially damaged. I think we can take it now. But this guy over here, this is what I don't understand. This guy, you need to, this game is involved, eh? Because now, listen, we didn't have a breach here either. And we took the place. I mean, how's that for you? Okay, so. We're all hey, 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 hightailing it down here. Boom. So the French are going to move down there. I'm keeping him there. Uh, I'm going to keep him there. Just as back up here and I'm going to keep him there. Because we are now in control. Prussia. Uh, it's a size one fort. How does our... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to go down there. We don't have a depot here. Did they promote this guy? That's the question. Okay, so he's a three-star general. Now, what can I do with him? Nothing. Nothing. I can't. I suppose we could create a core. No, but it has to be two-star. Uh, now, now well, let's just see, because now I can move his other forces in. I'm glad he... Okay, what is he... Uh, the stack receives 12 come on, and your leaders and that and needs 12 to operate so he can only, he's he's gone up he's able to take the penalty away but if I put any more oaks underneath him it's gonna kill this it's gonna kill this whole thing yeah so we're not going to um, I'm going to uh, I wonder if I should build there's no depot yeah let's just see Is there a depot? Yeah. Okay, so size 4 depot. So I think that's fine. I don't think we need to build a, a depot here. Okay, cool. I'm just... I'm keeping him there. He's the backup. He's just going to stay there. Okay? Alright, so before we... I just wanted to see what happened there. Alright, he was promoted to Marshal. This is our friend here. Okay? We've uh, besieged that, but achieved nothing. Okay, we made a breach there. We're going to... Let's... While we... Yeah, let's just mock it on... Because we are now going to take this place. Okay. We inflicted during the siege. We made a breach there. And we inflicted five hits. Light troops and reconnaissance efforts. And, uh, I've launched reconnaissance efforts. Okay, I, don't know. I don't see that. Austria have made an extra breach at Google. We're going we're gonna to go in there now. There's nothing going on here. So I think he can go in there in the meantime. And he can join him. Just to make sure everything is fine. Just come in the next day. Yeah. Take that place back. And we've got a unit in there anyway. And we built a depot here. If I'm not mistaken. We have a size 1 depot. Okay. So he's run away. I don't know where he's gone. I just don't know. I don't see him anywhere. He's disappeared. <laughs> this is his game. Fog of war. Okay, uh, campaign, French Brigade received infantry. Okay, so he's received some infantry. All right. Okay. New units raised. Okay, so we've raised new units. Three units. Uh, I don't understand that. It says a new units raised in... in in the various cartoons. Okay, well, let's just see. Okay, so it doesn't... Where is this? Are these units raised here? Yeah? This is our guy, yeah? Where is he? Where we raised new units? This is this game. Okay. Uh, called in the salt in the area. Okay, so we did assault and he called it off. As there was no breach. Okay, so there had to be a breach. So we worked that one out. Uh, yeah, we captured, and then that was the the battle that we won. Okay, we gained control, so we are moving. You know. Okay, so we received congratulations, new sonority. Okay, so these guys just got the French reach. Okay, so now what's going on here? Okay, so he's got another guy down here. All right, I'm glad. But this is a, this is still, this is a corpse guy. This is a corpse. 
Okay, so this is a corpse, but he's still... These these are cores. Th these are also corpse. Sorry, they are cores. But where's his... Where's his... Okay. That's a core. Alright, so that is a core. These are cores, but they don't have a general underneath them. That's why they're suffering these penalties. I'm assuming. Okay, so he's arrived here now. Okay, what are we going to do with him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so congratulations, Victor. Uh, French cause the gain control of the Spotter region. Okay, increase it. Okay, so we need to just go back in here and destroy this whole. Oh, there's my clock again. You, can you believe it's been 40 minutes, eh? And look, we've just moved one turn. I think I played this too quickly. Because in the beginning, I'd, I was moving like three turns, four turns of video, and I thought that was long. And look at this. We've just moved one turn. Okay, I did some explaining in the beginning. I talked a little bit in the beginning, but we, we just moved one turn, really, basically, after figuring out what to do here. And already the... I mean, we we got five turns to remain. So I think this this could be turning out to be until I get used to this game and know how to play it because I love this game. I love these types of this is such an awesome game. Simultaneous movement, so realistic. And if you look at all the forces and the command structures involved here, and the people here, and and how to and and the area. I mean, if you look at the regions and how you know in terms of how the loyalty and the and and the and all of these factors, engagement points and morale and all this, this is such a realistic game. It's such a complicated, realistic, awesome simulation. And once I understand that, uh, very different from ACW, from the AOG, other titles, very different, way more complicated. Uh, because you don't, on the one side is the recruitment side and the construction and the decisions, which you didn't have there. It was fairly straightforward in the ACW. And you knew where you were. You know, the names of the generals. It wasn't German towns and stuff and all over the place. And there weren't three. It was just one against the other. It was in a set area, ACW, and it was just the north against the south. Yeah, you got troops from the French. You got the Bavarians involved. You got all that polit politics involved. You got the Austrians. And I think the, later on, the Russians joined the Austrians. I'm not sure. But this game is ranked up in complexity as compared to that. Ranked up. Ranked up there. Yeah, so it's it is a tops tops war game. If you ever get a chance, go buy it. It's worth every cent. But that comes with a steep learning curve. And the thing is, like I said in the manual, manual doesn't tell you everything, and then the manual tells you something, but it doesn't explain to you this story we were talking about. You know, the depots doesn't say anywhere that those guys go in here. And I had to go and get it from a video, and then I finally worked it out myself. So as I go along, I'm preparing myself for the 172 campaign. That's the main reason I'm playing this. I love these little campaigns, but that's the main reason because then you've got all the features available. And by the time I get there, once I've played all these smaller campaigns, I'll be pretty much, pretty know what I'm doing. That's really why I'm wanting to play these campaigns, to learn what I'm doing. And I'm also going to play as the Austrians. When we finish this, I'm going to play as the Austrians. In this Teresa Maria campaign, I'm going to play as the Austrians. Just to learn further all the little nuances in this game all right so i think we're going to leave it there you know i wish i could play more but my clock's gone and i do want to play more but i can't i shouldn't so i'm just taking yeah oh yeah i just want to i want to play <laughs> okay so before we go through all the stuff that i think i did cover everything okay so i think we can make it one more turn just one more uh, let me just, because I've covered, I've, I've gone through the notes here. So usually I'll leave it, I'll make one more turn, and then we'll leave everything, the notes, everything, and I'll come back for that. But now I'm just worried about this guy. This is an Austrian force. He's coming down here with regular cavalry. I don't know who he is. And he's my problem. So we can breach over there. So we should take that at the next turn. Uh, what, do I, what are we looking at? So we have, we control five, uh, and we control... Five and eight. So, but we took this place. Didn't we take this place from Austria? Or does it reflect in the next turn? No, that's ours. And this is, this is control. So we took this place. So it fell to us. So there's no need to, so I don't know why we, okay, we want military control over here.
Okay, we took this place, Linz. Let me take it. It's, oh, 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 oh. Linz is not a strategic objective town. We're going down here. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, is there anything else we need to do? Yeah, I'm not going to put... Oh, we want... I wanted to see if we could... Could we still do the... Yeah, we have enough money for that. Okay, so we... And we get 12... Uh, 101 conscript companies, which we have. And we have 12. So we're going to... We're going to do this. So just because that's the only thing we're missing over here. The, the Prussian... Oh, no, we have Prussian heavy artillery. Why are we doing that? I didn't look. We got some elite infantry. We wait. We're getting some line infantry in here. What I want here is artillery, standard artillery, and and, and uh, um, standard artillery. And um, okay, so there's yeah, standard artillery is what I want. Just want to check that all these because if you don't check, then you don't know whatever comes up unless you read it. So standard artillery is what I want. Is he available? I'm just checking here just to see. You know, if there's anything I, mean, I missed in there. So what we want is standard artillery. Is really what we want. But we can't recruit it over here. Because there's no option. There's no artillery here. And that's all. If we look at the Prussian side, there's no artillery. That's as far as it goes. See, these are mission, uh, they got to stay in their own thing, and these are depots. So there's no use rec recruiting that. Um, so we're not, we're not going to recruit it. And it's not got an option. There's no military options for it. There's no military options for standard recruitment. It's just the French. And this just gives us more money. Okay, this gives us 50 tailors. I don't think tailors is the problem. I'm not sure. <laughs> I want to say I'm sure, but I'm not. Uh, can we, you know that one decision, let's try this decision here. This. No, we're not, uh, might as well, because we might as not. Uh, we don't waste, waste that, because we're going to breach there. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to, that's all she wrote for now. I'm just worried where this other guy's gone. He's disappeared. <gasps> so we're going to go in there and just make sure. <gasps> I have a worry about this guy, but luckily I brought the two generals back. Um, is there anything I missed here? All these guys are en route. He's staying back. Oh, this guy's come now. Now I don't know what to do with him. I think I'm going to bring him there. Okay, good. Uh, anything else? Because I'm going to end it. I'm going to end the turn and then end it on that. That'll be it. Range control, Russian military, Prussia. And we've got one there. And we still control this. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything I forgot? I don't need to recruit anymore. We've done our options. We've gone through everything. We've moved whatever. Okay, let's end the turn. All right, so we did two turns in this video. <laughs> Can you believe it? I actually want him to go in there. Okay, so he's put him back there. So I wonder what that means. Uh. Uh. Oh, somebody's fighting. Okay, that's the the siege. We should take it. We now that okay, Prussian victory. We lost eight hundred two men. Okay, cool. That now belongs to us. Oh, somewhere else. Is, who's fighting? Who's fighting where? Where is he fighting? Where was this? Where was this? Where did he fight us here? Okay, we lost 420 men. And he lost a lot more. So where did we lose that fight? Okay, there's another fight. He's back in there. He's got a big size force. We didn't, I didn't know he was there. I should have waited. I couldn't see him. I wanted, remember I said I don't know where he was. So we won this. 
We lost 21,000 men. Uh, sorry, no, we lost 3,000, he lost 3,000, and we won it. Okay, so what does that mean? But we won the fight, so why is he still in there? I don't understand this. So what the hell happened here? Okay, so where's my other guy? Where's my other guy? Where did my other guy go? The guy that lost that fight. If we won that fight, where's Leopold? He lost 420 men. Where the hell is he? Okay, I'm going to need, we, we, we're going to need to find him. I actually want to know where he ran to. Has he gone back here? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. I got a fright there for a moment. I got a fright. Okay, so these guys have to go in together, synchronized. We've won this fight. Okay. So let's just keep him there. Put him in there. Okay, so we've won this fight. I'm just taking them off. We won this fight here. But look how depleted he is. Well, just in organization alone. But we won that fight. Then why did we chase him out? How come? What actually happened here? We won this fight. So how the hell, explain to me how the hell we won this fight and he's still there. This is the number of ours and our opponents. It was, this is the number of yours and your opponents that actually routed during the battle. So that's what he routed. We, 21, were routed. We won this fight. Okay, there's a Prussian victory. We won this fight. You see, he's not so... We won this fight. So I don't understand why, if we won that fight, if somebody can help me with this, we won this fight against this guy. I know we lost this fight. Fair enough. But we won this fight. We're going to have another go at him. At the end of this turn, that's for sure. And he's got all his supply here. He went in too early. Okay. He went in too early. This guy, well, how much is he? How much is he? What is his force ranked at? Uh, what's his force ranked at? Doesn't tell me he's ranking. Goodness, it's led by him, but it doesn't tell me the, what the overall size of the force. Okay, he lost. He didn't lose many men, but we should have gone in together. Because I didn't know he was there. I was looking there. I was thinking, where is this guy? And he's not here. So I'm thinking, we need to go in there because, I mean, he wasn't there. Shows you with this game. you got to... Okay, so we must end it here. What we'll do is I'll go through everything in the next video. And we've got four turns remaining. We got six. Now we're sitting at six and we're still sitting at eight. These guys, I'm sure they've gone down here and they can make a breach. We can we can make a breach here. I'm sure of it. We can do the bit of the breach going thing there. And let him just sit there. He's gone up there. I don't know how far he's still going. I don't know if he's suffering yet. He's got he's got wagons to help him. But I don't know how far he's gonna go there. Come down the back. Um, I'm glad we've taken that, but we still got a problem here. So I might just, I might just in the next turn, move him back down here to support and then attack again, again, leave him there. Cause there's nobody else here. This other general's vied somewhere. Yes, this, this game is involved. It's tricky and it's like, yo, it's like, like the generals, you don't know where they are now. He was there. Fog of War in this game is so well done. He, we had this general guy here, and now he's disappeared. Because we don't know. It, it really shows you what's left in the field. All right, so we're going to end it there. Uh, sorry about that. I know. I want to keep playing, but I can't. This game is just involving me so much. All right, so. Okay. 
please like this video uh please share it with everybody you know and subscribe to my channel like i said in the beginning i'm growing this channel i'm playing these awesome games i mean this is a fantastic game so i'm playing these awesome games on my channel so please please subscribe and uh, i'm growing it i'm growing my channel so it'll help me a lot and it's free it's free to subscribe so you know hit that big red button there subscribe and uh, leave comments and suggestions Especially with this game, not many people know what the, all the rules are for this. I mean, I'm just learning this game. So you leave your comments, suggestions, tips, whatever you want. All right, until our next uh, Rise of Prussia uh, uh, video on the, what is this called now? This is the, I can't it, the Three, Theresa at Bay campaign. This is Sean from the Games Yard. Good day on you.